Okay, so how do you choose the right wormer to use um, on your sheep? Well, the first thing is that you need to use a wormer that's going to be effective. So the drench test that you've done will tell you whether or not that wormer group is going to be effective in your sheep. Using an ineffective drench speeds up resistance even faster. You will get to that point there very, very quickly, but also it means you're not going to get good performance out of your animals because you're leaving too many worms alive inside of them. So drench testing is important. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you're targeting the right worms. So you then need to understand a little bit about the different types of worms. Um, for example, nematodirus, um, a condition of lambs, we would normally um, tell people to use a white drench for those because um, there's no resistance to the white drenches in the matadirus. We tend to use it early in the season and it's very, very effective at treating that particular um, worm. Whereas on a lot of farms, the white drenches are now becoming pretty well ineffective at killing other worms. One of the other things about them is, and if you look at the table, um, you will see that each of those wormers is now um, grouped according to these little symbols, um, and the white drenches, the yellow drenches, the clear drenches, the orange drenches and the purple drench. Um, and then you'll notice that we've also got at the far side some which are called combinations. And those are products which contain both normally a fluke and a worm. So they're two different chemicals put together to do two different jobs. And sometimes you need to do that, a lot of the time you don't. So you really do want to avoid using those combination products unless it's absolutely necessary. Also, there are what we call um, single active um, specific products that actually will only target one parasite and there usually it's liver fluke. Some of the liver fluke products also attack well, one of the worms called Homonchus contortus but those are very specific products and we would encourage people to use those if it's liver fluke they're trying to treat um, so that we're not actually exposing worms unnecessarily to the, um, to the worming products uh, because that will actually increase resistance. So think very carefully, which group do I want to use? Which group, do, what do I know? Which groups are effective on my farm? Shouldn't I find out? And then choose, be specific as, as best you can. And don't think that you should carry on using the same wormer all season. You need to change according to the type of, of um, worm you're trying to get at and wh whether they're working properly or not on your farm.